Recently, I released two videos comparing Minecraft optimization mod packs. And ever since I released those videos, I've been getting so many comments of people asking me if I can explain how to even install a mod pack in the first place. And I don't blame you. Installing a mod pack works very, very differently than any other Minecraft resource. So that is why today I'm going to show you exactly how to install a mod pack for Minecraft. It is not a hard process at all, but you just have to know. Anyways, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit the 100,000 subscribers and every single time one of you click subscribe, we are getting just a little closer. Okay, so the reason installing a mod pack works so differently than installing any other Minecraft resource is because a mod pack is not just one resource. Instead, it is a combination, a collection of resources. A mod pack is nothing more than a combination of mod and settings. And usually those mods are not created by the creator of the mod pack. An example I got here is Cobblemon. Most people have at least heard about this mod pack before, but it is a Pokemon mod pack, which means this is not one mod. It is a combination of mods. And usually you can find which mods are included in a mod pack like this when just scrolling down a little bit. So here we go. These are all the mods included in the Cobblemon mod pack. And a massive part of these mods are not made by the developer of the actual Cobblemon mod pack. Now, the same thing goes for Performium. It is a Minecraft optimization mod pack released by Membercat Studios and created by one of my moderators, Aizen. Now, we own the mod pack, but all the mods in the mod pack are made by other developers. And because that is how mod packs work, we can't just click on download, get a zip file with all the mods mods and settings included that we can then just drag into our mods folder and bam we're done. That's not how it works. Instead when you download it the only thing you will get is a .mr pack file which is nothing more than a file that you can open with a custom Minecraft launcher because that is what you need. To install a Minecraft mod pack you need to use not the default Minecraft launcher but a special Minecraft launcher that supports mod pack installation. Now the one that I use myself is the Modrinth app. But you can also use the Prism launcher, the AT launcher, and there are probably many more launchers out there that I don't even know the existence of. But you need a launcher that supports the platform you want to download a mod pack from. Because mod packs are not only available on Modrinth, you can of course also find mod packs on CurseForge. And to install CurseForge mod packs, you might need a different launcher. For example, the CurseForge one, which you can simply download by clicking on this button. Now, because ModRinth is my preferred platform, I'm going to show you how to do it through ModRinth, though, quite frankly, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever launcher you want. But if there is a mod pack on ModRinth that you want to download, the easiest thing to do is just simply go up to the top right of your profile and click on Get ModRinth App. By clicking on there, you will get to this webpage. And I will leave a link to this page in the description of this video. It is not only available for Windows, but like you can see, also for Linux and Mac. So no matter what system you're on, you can install it. Now, after downloading the installer, you simply need to double click it, follow simple instructions, log in with a Microsoft account, and after that, you will see this, the ModRinth app. Now, how do we download a mod pack through this app? Super easy. Here on the top left, you simply want to go to browse. And after that, the first tab here on the top immediately says mod packs. Now, you can just click on install for any of the mod packs here in this list, or you can simply search for one and download that one. So I'm going to download Performium. Simply going to type Performium and there it is. Now, if you want to know more about the mod pack, you can simply click on it and it will bring you straight to the ModRinth page where you can see some more information about it. If you go to versions, you can see all the different versions that are actually available. Though, when you just click on install here, it will always install the latest version. So, I'm simply gonna click on install and you can see, there it goes. The mod pack is installing. It is pulling all the mods that this mod pack uses from ModRinth. And when we then go back to home, you can see, uh, there it is. The mod pack is successfully installed. And you can now see all the different mods that this mod pack actually includes. Now, I've also seen a few comments of people asking, are you able to edit a mod pack? 
And yes, you are. Currently, like you can see, I'm not able to delete or disable any of these mods. That is because a mod pack by default is locked. And when it is locked, you cannot change anything. So when we go to options and then we scroll down a bit all the way until we get to the mod pack section, you can see here the top setting is unlock instance. Allow modifications to the instance, which allows you to add projects to the mod pack. The pack will remain linked so you can still change versions. Only mods listed in the mod pack will be modified on version changes. So if you want to add something, you can simply click on unlock, then confirm it. And there we go. The mod pack is now unlocked. So now, like you can see, we have the option to add content. And when I click on there, we can simply add some more mods to the mod pack that are not included by default, but you might really want. For example, Apple Skin. That's a cool mod. Let's say you want to use Performium, but you also want Apple Skin. Bam. Install it. Done. Easy peasy. And that's how easy it is. That is how you install a mod pack for Minecraft. Now, like I said, you can use any launcher that you prefer. I like using the mod ring one, but if you want to use Prism or AT launcher, you can totally do that. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you so much for watching. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so yet. We're trying to reach the 100,000 subscribers on the Casa Server channel. And every single time one of you click subscribe, we just get a little bit closer. Also, don't don't forget to join my Discord, the Casasaro Universe. Link can be found down below. And thank you so much to my channel members for the incredible support. You guys are truly legends. I love you all. Thank you so much for the support. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. See you later. Bye bye.